I, I see that uh, my research uh, could contribute in uh, uh, different levels. First of all, uh, um, in academic uh, level, because um, uh, I, I see that there is a gap uh, of um, uh, of the research on uh, business and human rights in situation of global emergencies and uh, how this uh, solidarity approach could contribute uh, um, to, to, to the research of this field. I'm working on uh, to build bridges between uh, actually global business and human rights scholarship uh, and uh, uh, business and human rights uh, community in Eastern um, Europe Europe and Central Asia and in particular in Ukraine. One of the most problem for Ukraine now is renewable energy because now we um, uh, we have to buy energy. The uh, sector of renewable energy is very small in Ukraine and uh, I work on development of materials that are used for solar cells and uh, uh, do you um, as a part of uh, R&I uh, sector, I think that my research will be a basic for uh, um, optimizing of production such materials. I think that the, there is no sense to strengthen the current research system of Ukraine, because even before the war, Ukrainian science was in the deep crisis for a long time, and uh, the war only accelerated all the negative tendencies. So now we need uh, actually deep reorganization of the whole scientific system. And what I hope uh, this fellowship, not only for me, but for all people from Ukraine, will bring is actually understanding that these changes are really necessary. And people who will return to Ukraine will drive this kind of changes because otherwise, I don't think it's a future of science in Ukraine. Uh, I uh, wish uh, that uh, the uh, uh, Ukrainian researchers uh, will inspire uh, by uh, the uh, protect of European organizations and institutions in their uh, development uh, of uh, uh, scientific skills, uh, research skills, and uh, to uh, make uh, wonderful projects, uh, scientific projects. My project is uh, dedicated to, uh, to to the search of growth regulators for for plants based on uh, artificial intelligence search. So, uh, as you know, Ukraine is uh, is a group, is huge ag agricultural country. So, uh, all plant related research, crops related research are very essential. So, I think my work could be. Uh, nice contribution. Uh, the fellowship just started and we already can feel the impact to to advance the research, so to say, in Ukraine. Uh, then uh, funding and grant writing. Uh, this is also an important part. So uh, my supervisors here are very experienced in, in grant writing and finding this uh, good relevant spots where the research could fit. My project will concentrate on uh, how to help Ukrainian judicial system um, to uh, deal with this huge amount of cases and how to improve the quality of uh, judicial decisions and uh, how to be how to uh, follow the precondition for fair trial for war criminals. Uh, I think that is super important because uh, war crimes, it's a very sensitive and uh, big topic uh, in Ukraine. I want to make a um, positive impact on my country as I can as a lawyer, as a legal researcher, and maybe to bring some European and international experts in Ukraine. My research will contribute to enhancing a natural language processing methods for Ukrainian language. Uh, which are widely used in artificial intelligence and also in machine learning, which is very popular in Europe and also in Ukraine. I uh, hope that uh, this collaboration will help to uh, keep uh, human research potential uh, for Ukraine because um, uh, many scientists live Ukrainian 
leave Ukraine now. Also, um, uh, we hope that uh, new materials we are uh, developed will bring new, new possibilities and uh, improvement efficiency to some technologies uh, developing in Ukraine.